Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be messing a little bit with this super micro server again which um, I did a video on oh, just last week actually um, got a lot of good suggestions in the comments of that video suggesting that this was not a standard super micro server and that this uh, fire eye software company security stuffy had um, kind of turned off features so today i'm gonna try and see if i can firmware uh, replace the firmware on there with the standard super micro firmware it's a little bit iffy because uh, this system board says that it's an hadgu and the standard firmware from super micro has a dash f on the end of that so there is all possibilities that we're gonna break that so yeah always enjoyable it is just a cheap super micro server i'm sure everybody said that this was um, well kind of a built at a price point i think that's the nice way of putting it it has a nice front the rest of it well yeah cheap but it was more or less also just a fancy router that um, would route the traffic through and you could do stuff with it and yeah. i am not completely sure what this FireEye product did and i don't even think that i want to know the details i have downloaded some firmware for this and i do believe that it uh, will work in the server 2019 i will put on here oh yeah and it's noisy there was also some suggestions that i might be able to uh, to turn this fan speed down on this but i think that's only available in the in the good bias okay from um, from the last video i could hear that this server was bloody loud so i moved the camera to the other side so that well maybe you don't get as much sound but um i guess that's better i found something great right now um in the bias it also has this line f so that that helps my confidence a little bit about this and this bias is from 2012 so i don't think there's anything wrong with updating it and uh the one that i've downloaded which i have right here on this awesome little m.2 ssd usb 3.1 type c um yeah thinky now we're gonna put in it was just because i didn't have a usb stick that was available so i did find over here under advanced settings that we do have some hardware health configuration and there is a fan speed control mode down here so uh, we, we can turn the fans they're at balanced bl and there is another one called energy savings and i'm guessing that um, that will turn the fans down further also there's a chance that the server does not know what it's doing when it's in the bias and uh, just ramps up the fans a little bit more to to make sure that the server is cool but okay let's uh, get out of here again and try and update stuff okay for some reason this awesome usb thing thingy here didn't show up on the server so i had to connect some network uh, and uh, copy it up to my nas and copy it down again but i have the files here this one is the firmware for the bios and then there is some ipmi uh, firmware for the management uh, in the server so i think we should start with the firmware for the bios and it's just an access file so um, let's try that let's see oh they want to create a bootable floppy are you bloody kidding me okay it's the next day um it's not as if i don't have a floppy drive um i actually do even i have a usb floppy drive it's just i didn't think that i was ever gonna need this again um but apparently we have to use it to uh, firmware update this server i have been testing this a little bit because i had very little hope that this would work but there actually seems to be light at the end of the tunnel because i uh, well i popped 
I popped this in and it just didn't show up. Well, it showed up in the it showed up in the device manager, but it wouldn't install the driver for it. So I thought, well, it's actually a Samsung floppy disk USB. And I thought, well, it's just too old and there's no drivers for it. And maybe it was just running perfectly in Windows XP or something, blah, blah, blah. And I thought, okay, let's, um, let's try and boot from it, see what happens. And actually the server wouldn't boot because this wasn't a bootable media, which was bad, but also good. Because that means that the floppy drive is bootable and the server sees it when it boots and it wants to boot from it. So, so far, so good. So I, I thought, okay, if it can do that, I might uh, do the extra work and see if I can find a driver for the for the operating system because the uh, server 2019 didn't give a flying f about this floppy drive being in there it just ignored it so I actually found that um, someone else on YouTube had made a video on installing drivers for this and I just followed that and it turns out that you just tell this floppy drive that it's an NEC floppy drive and it works so yeah I'm gonna put this back in and I'm gonna try and put the firmware onto this floppy disk which I'm gonna erase there is some data on it I don't even want to know what's on it because oh, I haven't missed it I saw that the file was from 2008 haven't missed it so here we have the floppy drive and there is something in the floppy um, something work related me trying to get more money out of my workplace I'm sure Let's go and let's try and make this floppy drive. Create floppy, yes. It's gonna be overwriting. And it actually works. It's amazing. We are writing 2020 and we are writing a floppy drive. I did not know that was gonna be happening. 1.4 megabytes. Oh boy, that takes so long. Just used to the 1.4 megabytes. It's, well, you don't even have to think about that anymore. 19.56 kilobytes a second. We are flying high. Floppy disk was successfully created. Thank you. Let's check it out. I do wonder if this is bootable. Yes, we'll just try. If we boot the server, it should uh, try and boot from the floppy drive. So, uh, restart. Continue. Let's see if it wants to try and boot. Unfortunately, I can't really show you the floppy disk over here. But I can let you hear that this server is noisy as heck. Oh, it boots from the floppy. Let's see what happens. Or at least it tries to. Go, go, floppy! Do, 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 do. It has our two Toshiba hard drives and it has our. It has that DOM in there as well. Yes, it boots from floppy. Loading free DOS! <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So apparently it's making some kind of a RAM drive or something. It's now copying the firmware to the RAM disk and unzipping it. So hopefully it's doing most of this. It's I don't have to do much. That would be nice. Yeah, and floppy is slow. So um, it's, it's working down here. It's working really hard. You can see the green LED. It's on there constantly. Can you remember back in the day when we installed Windows from floppy drives? Okay. Continuing. Updating BIOS. Erasing flash. Okay. Writing flash. And the firmware we're putting on the... I think it's, it's probably version uh, 3.18. I don't know how old that is. As the, the firmware that is on here is two point something, I guess it's better. It's done writing and now it's verifying. That was fast. Writing boot block. 
I guess we're done. I guess if I had like 10 of these servers, um, it wouldn't be a big deal to firmware update it this way. Uh, when one floppy drive is done, well, you just pop the floppy drive in and you boot the server and well, a couple of five minutes later, it has been firmware updated. So yeah, okay, maybe that isn't too bad, but boy, I feel old. So um, I'll pop out the floppy. Please reboot system now, yes. We will do that and we will go into the BIOS and check it out. Let's delete on this system if you were wondering. And in a second it will ramp up the speed again. Any any anything? Oh well, that's the rate controller. Okay, we definitely got a new BIOS. It says 3.5C. So uh, something happened there. Mm, looks about the same. Oh, there is. I think there's more stuff here. Processors and clock options. Does it? Does anyone know if it's possible to overclock this server? That would be fun. So, but but one thing I actually want to do. The BIOS looks exactly the same, so it must have only been minor changes that has happened. I want to see, I want to turn that fan down, if, if at all possible. So let's go to energy saving mode from, on fan speed control mode, because that thing is bugging me. And nope, we want to save changes, so we have to go... Oh, we have to go over there. Save changes and things. There. Yeah, and I was about to end the video there, but um, but I told it to save changes and exit, and I was expecting it to boot, and it is not. It is actually just lighting up the num lock on the keyboard there, and um, totally dead. A um, couple of minutes has passed, so I'm gonna try and. Um, Pull power and power it back up again. Oh! Complaints about not being redundant. That's... That's actually not bad. There. You got power again. I will um, let you know if it boots. It boots. Yeah, this took way longer than expected. I was thinking, well, this is gonna be a 10 minute video. But no, problems arrive and you have to solve one at a time. Like, well, I had to install Chrome on this to uh, be able to, to go get some drivers that it turned out that I didn't need, but I needed Chrome anyway to see the YouTube video and blah, blah, blah. Time just flies away. And every time you want to boot a server 2019, well, there are some new updates from Microsoft. So um, yeah, that takes time as well. What should I tell you to do in the end of this video? Well, please uh, like this video if you want to see more videos about Super Mic uh, well, this Super Micro server, I only have this one. Have actually already planned some, some new videos with it. So I have ordered a new CPU for it. Um, this one is really disappointing. Uh, it scores about 3000 in benchmark for a server. It scores about 3000 in benchmark and for a server from 2012-2014 that is really bad because back in 2007-8-ish I was buying older CPUs and they were about 4000 in benchmark Oh, well, how much is that? 30-33% faster? 5 years earlier So uh, we want to try and put a better CPU in there um, Like this video? Uh, check out my Playhouse web shop, link in the description and um, and thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye yeah everything takes time now uh, firmware is new windows won't boot nice <laughs>